It's Daisy from MyWidowedHeart.com. Today I want to show you how to make a floral arrangement for a cemetery vase. Now, I'm not a florist. This is just the way um, I do it and it's worked out pretty well for me over the past years. So, I'll show you how I do this. First off, you'll need lots of artificial flowers like these. I tend to buy mine at Old Time Pottery just because they are fairly cheap there. Um, sometimes I'll get them from Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Sometimes has a really good sale going on, so that's when I'll get it from there. Yeah, you'll need a bunch and some greenery is good too. You'll need a foam insert for your cemetery vase. These come in different styles and sizes and um, you may have to cut it to fit your vase. Now that should be the first thing for you to do to start this project with um, because you want to make sure that it fits right and you want to know how far down you need to go with your flowers. So this one, I've used this kind before and I know that when I stick it in that vase, it'll go into about here. So just where that thicker part starts. So that's where I need to start with my um, greenery and flowers. So, you know, all that will need to be covered. So that's the first thing you need to do. You need to see how your foam, whichever style, size, shape you choose, you need to know how it fits in your vase and make sure it fits right. I also have this vase here and that's just to stick this in while I work on it just to secure it so it doesn't flop around. You'll need wire cutters or pliers with wire cutters on them, floral tape, here's an unopened pack that's kind of what it looks like, you need wood picks. I've got some already here, some short ones and some long ones. Scissors. Now you may not want to use the wood picks and just stick the stems into the foam without them. And then I would suggest to secure it with um, some glue with a glue gun. But I tend to like the wood picks, at least for parts of the arrangement. Um, especially if you use the taller ones, you can add height to it. Height that you wouldn't have with just the stem by itself. If there's no vase at the grave, you can also buy plastic cemetery vases with foam insert. They'll also have a spike so you can stick it into the ground. So first I'm going to cut off all of these stems to separate them and you want to cut them at the lowest possible point um, so just in case you need all that length. Now if you need it shorter in the end, I mean you can always clip it shorter but cut them off as long as possible. And you want to get different kinds of flowers and you want to get some bigger ones that will be pretty much your focal point and then smaller ones to fill it in with. And I wouldn't do too many different colors. I would probably, you know, focus on maybe Four kinds of different colors and it's okay to use more but I wouldn't use too many different colors because it'll just get a little too mixed up. Now this seems like a lot of flowers and 
it's possible that I bought too many. If I did, I'll just use the whatever I have left over another time. I like to use these fern leaves. They're especially good for the bottom part. Now, making those floral arrangements yourself isn't necessarily cheaper than buying one. I mean, it can actually be more expensive depending on where you're getting your artificial flowers and if you're catching a sale or not. So, the thing about it is though, I like to make them myself because for me it's therapeutic because it's just one thing I can still do for my husband, making these floral arrangements myself and yeah, it's just kind of a time to reflect and think about him and just helps me heal. And the nice thing too is if there's a certain color or certain kind of flower that your loved one really liked, you can incorporate that into your design. So you can make it however you want to, whichever flowers you want to use, whatever colors you want to use, so you're not limited by what you can buy already made. Now these arrangements will last at least a couple of months. It all depends on the weather and the season. So you may have to replace it every couple of months. Sometimes they last pretty long. I've gone almost a year on some of them actually and you just never know how fast they're gonna fade sometimes they fade really fast other times they seem to last pretty long I also have written instructions with photos on my website and I will share a link below for that. Now these are going to be my focal flowers. So all of the flowers have been cut off. So what I want to do is I want to find the longest one of my focal flowers, which they may actually all be the same length. Well, that one's a little shorter. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty much all the same length. Oh, this one is longer. Okay. This seems to be the longest one of my focal flowers. So I'll start with this. But I will use a wood pick to give it more height. To attach the wood pick to the floral stem, you want to hold them both together like this, where it overlaps. Something like that. And then you take the wire from the wood pick and you wrap it around both the floral stem and the wood pick. Go around maybe two times and then what you want to do is go in between the wood pick and the floral stem. That just makes it a little more sturdy. And then keep going down around both 
wood pick and close them. Keep going down and you'll do the same thing on the bottom. You want to go in between and then you want to wrap it back up around both of them. I wish the wire was a little longer on those so that I could wrap it up a little more, but it's going to be okay. So then you take the floral tape and the thing about the floral tape is it's not going to be sticky until you stretch it. So I start at the top and I'm going to stretch it to activate the stickiness and I'm going to go around and I'm stretching it as I go. So I'm going to wrap it around all the way to the bottom. And then you just tear it off. And there you go. Take the tallest flower and stick it right into the center of your floral zone. So you want to keep going with your main focus flowers. You want to, or the way I do it is I basically go down tier by tier with my main flowers. I'll do all those first and then I will add my filler flowers and greenery. I'm going to attach floral picks to all my main flowers, especially because the stem is so thick it would be probably difficult to push that down into the foam. So I think I'm going to use the shorter ones this time. I think I can get away with that. It doesn't really need to be all that tall. You want your second tier to be slightly shorter than your first main flower that you did. I think I'll be doing four in that second tier. See how that's slightly lower than that first one? Don't worry if you end up not liking it. Um, you can always change it. If you need to make it shorter, that's okay. Just pull it back out and redo it. So you want to just keep going with your wood picks and floral tape if that's what you're using. Like I said before, you don't necessarily have to. You could also just stick them in without the wood pick, but I just find that the wood picks kind of work a little better. Gives it a little more stability. Plus, like I said, some stems are just really too thick to put in there. So the wood picks really help with that. On some of the thinner ones later, I might decide to just use a little bit of hot glue and just stick them in directly into the foam without the wood picks. It just depends. And you want to be sure that it's about the right height. Plus you'll be adding your wood pick. So I might actually clip this a little bit, make it just a tiny bit shorter. 
I think that would be just about right. So these will have to be a little shorter. Cut about here. So I prepared four more stems with the with the wood picks and the floral tag. And those are gonna be tier three. So one, two, three, the third tier, which is I'm gonna go something like that. You just wanna keep working your way down. So I'm gonna try to get it about the same height. It's okay if it's not perfect and you can adjust it later on anyhow. If you're not happy with something. So I've prepared four more for tier number four. And that will be the last tier of these focal flowers. So I think I'll go right down here with those. And now you just use these other flowers as fillers and just put them however you like them. This is how far I've gotten. So just keep on adding flowers until you're happy with it. And you can adjust them if you have to. And sometimes you just have to bend the stems a little bit to make them go however you want them to go. When I get close to finishing the arrangement, I will usually set it down on the floor so that I can see what it looks like from that angle. This just gives you a better idea of what it's going to look like once it's in the cemetery vase. So it looks like I need to add something right here. I'm going to add that in there. So now I'm just about done. What I'm going to do now is add these leaves and I'm just going to use hot glue for that. I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue to the end of the stem and then I'll stick it into the foam. And you can bend those and make it look a little more natural. The arrangement is done, so all you want to do is maybe make final adjustments, like fluff out the flowers a little bit, or on some of them, when they have the leaves, sometimes the leaves are a little further down and you can push them up a little bit more. I think we're finished. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my website at mywidowedheart.com where I share my personal grief journey as well as helpful tips and information for dealing with grief and loss.